Thank you for joining us for this video, DVD is not dead. Today we'd like to discuss how and why we started to create physical DVD and Blu-ray for our films and why we think other filmmakers should consider this option. We're going to go through our process for authoring DVDs and how you can save money every step of the way. And we're going to share our results so far and why we think this is the best time to start distributing your film in DVD and Blu-ray formats. And stay tuned too, we have some tips for you about how you can beef up those DVDs and prepare for everything beforehand. So last year we released a psychological horror film called Machination and we always had DVD and Blu-ray in mind for that film as we knew many horror fans still appreciate physical media and like to collect films and merchandise. After much research into the best way to create and release physical media, we chose to go with a company called Allied Vaughan, which is like an aggregator slash marketplace for physical media, the same way FilmHub is an aggregator slash marketplace for streaming. Now they take a 50-50 split of revenue, which we do find high, but we consider this the cost of convenience to use Manufacturer On Demand or MOD, which is what Allied Vaughan does. To break it down, MOD means discs are only printed and shipped when there is a sale. So there's no upfront inventory cost and no risk of being stuck with the boxes of unsold discs. So what's important when creating these DVDs and Blu-ray assets is that you have to give yourself some lead time, about two to three months out from the date that you want to hit. This ensures that you create all the assets and deliver them correctly without stress. So the Machination DVDs and Blu-rays launched on Amazon, Walmart, Best Buy, Barnes & Noble and a few other online retailers. Now we didn't really have any expectations regarding performance. But then the first reports came in and Machination was doing extremely well. The good reports and payouts lasted about three quarters before tapering off. But as things stand today, Machination has actually made more money for us via physical media sales than digital streaming sales. So following this success, this year we created DVDs and Blu-rays through Allied Vaughan for all the film of ours called Incorporate. Now we chose Incorporate because it's one of our strongest selling films on the streaming platform, so it made sense to see if there was demand for it on DVD. Again, the first few months of sales went really well before slowing down, but even that brief surge of sales was more than enough to cover the cost and time spent and to make a healthy profit. So these experiences for us were eye-opening, as for a long time, like other filmmakers, we believed that physical media was dead. But though physical media has seen a dramatic decrease in revenue from its 2005 heyday, over 1 billion physical media sales were reported in 2021 and hundreds of millions in 2022. So yes, the numbers drop every year, but the way we see it, even if a filmmaker can capture a tiny fraction of the audience that buys physical media with their film, there's still money to be made. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you're getting a lot of value out of it. If you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It's a really big help for us and helps us make more awesome videos like this. Right now, we're planning the DVD release for our cat-centric movie, Cats of Malta. We're totally confident this will be a hit because the positive feedback we've had so far and the demand for the film is there. But how do you create the files needed for DVD while keeping costs down so you can be profitable? Now, so DVDs and Blu-rays need to go through an authoring process to create the ISO file, which is the exact copy of all the contents on the optical disc, such as the film and bonus features and captions, archived into a single file that will make up the DVD or Blu-ray. So Allied Vaughan does offer an authoring service, but the cost, as of the time of recording, starts at around USD $450 for a DVD up to 110 minutes. Alternatively, you can do the authoring yourself if you have the software and the know-how, but this can be challenging. There's software like DVD Styler for Windows or discontinued programs like Sony DVD Architect or Adobe Encore pre the cloud days, which some people still have access to on all computers but there's no consensus on what the best way to DOI author a DVD is. So this is something we didn't have time to solve ourselves. Our solution was to turn to Fiverr to get the authoring done at a fraction of the cost that Ally Vaughan charges. This also meant no time wasting and experimenting to see what software works and what doesn't. Both times the Fiverr ISO files have passed QC with Ally Vaughan. And again, you can use Fiverr or Upwork to get the artwork done for the cases and discs or you can do it yourself like we do. Allied Vaughan will provide the templates for you for sizing and with a bit of Photoshop or Canva, it isn't difficult to create the artwork yourself. So with very little upfront cost and not a whole lot of effort, creating DVDs and Blu-rays for your films is still a smart move. It's extra money and sometimes it can be very good money.
Now that we've said all this about DVDs and Blu-ray, we'd like to offer some further advice for filmmakers watching this video and who want to do as we did with Blu-ray and DVD creation. So the first advice we'd give is to not be afraid to price your DVD and Blu-ray at a reasonable price to you. You still need to make some money and this is business at the end of the day. So from each copy sold, you have to consider you will have the 50-50 split if you're working with Ally Vaughan like we did. Remember, true film collectors and connoisseurs prefer to have a film available on DVD or Blu-ray. These people are also accustomed to paying more to own the film. By distributing your own film on DVD and Blu-ray, you are not targeting people who want to watch movies for next to nothing. You are selling to somebody who wants to hold something tangible and meaningful in their hands and is willing to pay more for this privilege. That's a very valuable audience and appealing to this audience is very smart business. A way to add more value is to beef up your DVD. So the person that's actually spending that $15 or $20 on your DVD is getting more than they would get if they were streaming it or watching it free on Tubi. So extra things you can have in your DVD package is behind the scenes footage of actors talking to camera about their experiences, unused scenes that fell onto the cutting room floor, bloopers, even images and interviews or footage of the premiere. Pro tip, think about this in pre-production and create the materials in anticipation for that very special DVD you will offer your audience. We truly hope that you've learned something from watching this video, DVD is not dead, and that you now have an alternative way to generate more sales for your film. Click the next video here to learn the six steps for making successful micro-budget feature films. And if you like what you're watching, Please support our channel by hitting the like and subscribe button in this video and also leave us a comment. We would love to hear if you've had your own experiences with DVD and Blu-ray sales.